Hi, hello and welcome to another video by the scientist formerly known as Nigeli. In this episode I would like to show you how to make this beautiful pinwheel out of soda cans. And why does it have to be from soda cans? Because the aluminum from soda cans is just the right material for this outdoor project that will face a tough life due to exposure to sun, rain, wind and other elements. Start by downloading the template for the aluminum parts, you can find the link to the template in the description of the video. The basic material that we need for the pinwheel are flattened aluminum sheets that we obtained from soda cans. I already posted a video on how to make this flattened aluminum sheets, just follow the link in the upper right corner. The parts that we need beside the aluminum sheets are grill sticks and scotch tape adding a ruler and an exacto knife, scissors and two head pins, stapler, pliers and an electric drill. The process has four parts. So the first part is about the fin, the second part is about the T-connector, the third part is about the pinwheel and the fourth part, which is optional, is the part to make the concrete stand. Let's start with the fin, transfer the design of the template on a piece of cardboard and then transfer it with the adding to the aluminum sheet. Use scissors to cut the aluminum. Shorten the grill sticks to the desired length. Then bend the edges to form the final fin. Insert the aluminum arrow into the fin, then enter the grill stick and fix it with the stapler. You can use pliers to tighten the staples. So we move on to prepare the T-connector. It is made from two pieces, so cut out the two pieces from part two and then bend the parts in the center over the grill stick. Do not fix the parts too tight, but rather a little loose around the grill stick so that the parts can turn freely later. Place both parts into each other to form the T-connector and then fix this construction with the stapler. Remove overlapping aluminum pieces with scissors and that's already everything about the T-connector. Now let's combine the fin and the T-connector. Place the end of the grill stick from the fin over the T-connector and fix it with a stapler. Again, you can tighten the staples with pliers. In order that the T-connector can rotate, a piece of adhesive tape or scotch tape is rolled around the grill stick. Repeat the same step on the upper part of the grill stick so the fin cannot fall off uh, in heavy wind. Shorten overlapping tape with scissors. The pinwheel is also made from flattened aluminum sheet. Here we have a square of 13 centimeters. Use the ruler and the adding to indicate the diagonal lines and the center. Make a small hole with uh, the scissor uh, in the center of the square. Cut along the diagonal lines 6 cm into the direction of the center. Do not cut all the way to the center or your pinwheel will fall apart. Punch holes on four flaps of 
the aluminum square as shown here. Shorten another piece of uh, grill stick to make the rotating X for the pinwheel. This piece should rotate freely in the T-connector. Now cut off the head of a pin, fix it in the electric drill and use the pin like a drill in a drilling machine. Make a small hole in the piece that is foreseen as the axis for the pinwheel. With pliers take off the pin out of the axis. Fold alternating flaps into the center dot and then put the head pin through. Do not fold the aluminum completely, you want to remain it curved. This step can be tricky since the points like to escape if you are not holding them tight, so patience is the key. In the end, push the pin into the grill stick where you have made the small hole. Place the end of the rotating X into the T connector and again fix it with adhesive tape so it cannot fall off. Actually, you have finished your pinwheel from soda cans. You can put this uh, pinwheel directly into the earth of a flower pot. Or you can go on with me to make this beautiful concrete stand so you can place your pinwheel on a table. Reduce a soda can to the half of its size. Punch a hole into the bottom part of the soda can with a scissor. Put some shrink tubing around a grill stick and use a lighter to shrink it. Put the grill stick through the hole you punched and fix it with hot glue. Mix concrete with sand in a plastic bag and add it to the form you just prepared. Let it dry overnight and then in the next day remove the aluminum. Within one day the concrete is not completely hardened. So you can easily uh, reshape the size with a hard piece of metal. After the stand has dried completely, place the pinwheel into it and have fun. There is another video I would like to recommend you where you can see how to fix your pinwheel on the handrail of your balcony. Again, just follow the link in the upper right corner. And like always, if you like that video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel.